Welcome to part 7 of the Platform Games Unity Tutorial. In this part, what we're going to do is we're going to get the um, the Robot Boy to interact with the saw. Yeah, so as you can see, the saw is spinning. Um, when the Robot Boy hits the saw, it's going to take away one of the hearts. So that can happen three times because we've got three hearts. And then once all the hearts are gone, what we will do is we will write some code that's going to reset the game. Right, so first of all, okay, right, we need to work on the saw to begin with. We've got it spinning, but we need to do one more thing before we can add the code to um, make the collision work. So let's just stop it from running. Right, click on the saw, make sure the saw is selected. And what we need to do is we need to give it a tag because it's currently untagged and we need to give it a tag for when we write the code. So click on the tag option, add tag, and you'll see that we've got a list but it's currently empty. Um, click on the plus and the tag that we're going to use is hazard because our saw is a hazard. So hazard, press enter, and then if we go back to the saw, click on the tag list again and this time you'll see that hazard is in the option, so click on hazard. So our saw has now got a tag of hazard. Okay, so let's just save that. So save the scene. Uh, let's go to our script now. So make sure in the assets, make sure you click on the scripts folder. Double click on the health manager script. Right, just wait a few seconds for it to load. So we've got our health manager script. Now what we need to do is we need to add a new procedure. And this is going to be for our, our collision. So it needs to be called on collision enter 2d because we're dealing with a 2d game the parameter is going to be a collision 2d parameter and we're going to call it call right so brackets open brackets close bracket okay so that's our procedure so what we're going to do next is we're going to add an if statement that's going to check to see what's collided with our robot boy so if call the game object dot tag so we're looking at the tag of the game object that the robot boy has collided with and we're saying if the tag for the object is a hazard so in, in this case our hazard is the saw if the tag is a hazard then we want it to do something so just to begin with I'm just going to use the console so all I'm going to say is print hazard hit so we can see something happening straight away so hazard hit okay so let's leave that and let's save it so save go back to unity so the code should have changed now so we've got our on collision enter procedure so now if we run the game so what we'll do is we'll jump on top of the saw okay you see down at the bottom now it says hazard hit so in the console, yeah, so it, it's noticing that we've hit the hazard. If we do it again, look in the console, hazard hit again. Yeah, so it, it's picking up the collision between our character and the saw now. Right, so stop that. Go back into the code again. We'll take out the print, and what we'll do is we'll say that the health is going to equal itself, take away one. So the health was three. And then once it once it hits the saw, we want it to go down by one. So then we'll use this to remove our heart. So the health will go down by one every time it hits the hazard. Well, then what we'll do is we'll access the hearts on our screen using the health variable. And what we're going to do is we're going to set active to false for whichever heart is the last heart in our array. So. We we'll say hearts at position health dot set active false, and what that should do is that should remove the last heart depending on whichever heart you've got. So let's try that now. So save again, back into Unity, play the game, do the same test as we did before. So jump onto the saw and notice how the heart goes. So do it again, and the last heart should go. Right now, we haven't got any more hearts, but it's still 
trying to do something. You see how it says array index indexes out of range at the bottom? We need to fix that because what should really happen is once all the hearts are gone, it should reset the game. So the robot boy should go back to the start and the heart should come back. So we're going to do that next. So back to the code and underneath the if statement where it's checking to see if um, the characters collided with the hazard, we need another if statement but this time we're looking at the health. So if the health is the same as zero, so in other words we haven't got any hearts left at all, we've got no health left whatsoever, what we want to do is we want the application, so the game, the application, to load a level, if I can spell that is, and we want it to look at the application, and we want it to use the name of whatever level is currently loaded so in other words reload the current level so what should happen now is every time it hits a hazard it reduce the health take away one of the hearts and if the health gets to zero it's going to reload the current level so let's try that so save go back into unity play the game again here we go so jump on the saw jump on the saw again jump on the saw again it should reset so there we go, so it's working. So our game is working now with the lives, with the hearts. The hearts are being removed every time you hit the hazard. And when all the hearts run out, it's restarting the game. Okay, so things are looking good now. Um, we're getting there slowly. What we're gonna do in the next part of the tutorial is we're gonna put an object in, which is gonna be our goal for the level. So you make your way through the platforms, you get to the object, and what should happen is it will take you to the next level. Okay, so I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.